I'm here with a very, very angry Graham. Graham, what the hell did we just witness? I'm absolutely furious, Adam. Absolutely bloody furious. Uh, everybody knew today that with the squad at its limit, we had to win that game in 90 minutes. So you're 3-0 up and you decide, sod this, we're going to make it 4-5 and five on the counter-attack. Counter All of the uh, shape will go and we let a spirited and uh, committed Coventry side with nothing to lose back into the game. It was, it was criminal witnessing it. And the thing is, I'm not claiming any credit here, but I could see it happening, even with the third goal going in. Well, on that, mate, I've just spoken to Mark Robbins in the press conference, and I said, were you surprised how United fell away? And he said, in his words were, United looked like they'd thought they'd won it. And then they got leggy as soon as they had that moment of adversity. That was pretty much it. And then they played on United. Yeah, I, and... Uh, a mate messaged me after the game, he said, uh, I've never been so def deflated winning a game. And I've said to him, it's all right to create drama at 2-3 down against Liverpool. You know, you, you need to do something, you need to create drama. Not when you're bloody 3-0 up against Coventry, you need to sh shut the game down. Shut it down! Control the game! Is that Ten Hag's fault for you, Dan? Managing the game. A lot of people have gone in on man management today. Do you know what? I mean, I witnessed, I witnessed Ferguson's games against Oldham that are three all. But um, the kindest thing I can say about that was Oldham were closer in terms of the way football was in 1990 and 1994. Um, but surely to God... You've got experienced players on that pitch who actually won as the penalty shooter. Let's let's be fair. Um, their their know-how and penalty shootouts actually got us through that game. But you know how many players are going to be affected from that extra thirty minutes? Um, I mean, I messaged you uh, at three all and said, "This manager cannot go on. He cannot." He I'll have a look at that message in a minute. He cannot. <laughs> He cannot sustain that level of incompetence. And it was, Adam, it was, it was incompetence. The only good thing that came from it was, at 3-0 up, we were able to take the juniors off who'd been overplayed. And we, he still buggered that up. Garnacho's been subbed off when we've been winning in three games. That made it four. And we've ended up not taking the victory over 90 minutes in all of them games. Well, it tells you everything, doesn't it? It tells you everything. And the other thing is, anybody watching that game now knows what the hierarchy is of the substitutions because all the experienced players come on. Ahmad was the penultimate substitution and Amara For Amari Forson was the last one. And he wouldn't have got on. He wouldn't have got on had we not been so stretched. The, the academy graduates who, who filled the bench might as well have been um, serving flowers to the crowd. I mean, seriously, um, football, football is, a, is, a, is better than this, Eric. You know, we've got, we've got to a final. Uh, I, I don't know whether it's a blessing in disguise because we've got to hope that City are blowing out of their arse like they, we were yesterday because if they're in any way organised, and we haven't got players back fighting for places. The the cup finals are right off like last year. And it Graham, was, it was yeah. bad enough last year. It was questions awful. questions were asked about Coventry's workload. They've played more games than Manchester City <laughs> and Manchester United, and they had more legs than us in extra time, mate. So when it comes down to hoping that City are flagging, I think you honestly think you're pissing in the wind a little bit with that one. But well, hey, like, to finish up, Graham, finish up like. Three championship games in a row this week. We started out, we couldn't beat one in 90 minutes again. So since the international break, that's what? No winning five. Yeah. Now we've got Sheffield United and Burnley with more injuries. Marcus Rashford hobbled off. Scott, Is there Scott any hope? A, Scott McSominay's not fit either. I, 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 um, I mean, Christ, we're lucky we're playing Sheffield United. But knowing, knowing, knowing the way Wilder is, he'll probably get a bloody result there like he did last time. 
Let us know what you think, everybody. Graham's an unhappy man. How can you come away from Wembley going to an FA Cup final being disappointed? There's only Eric Tenag United that can make you feel that way.